Welcome back viewers. In the last video, we had done the installation of Gnome desktop. That is a minimal install using the MX package installer. And in this video, we will boot up and then we will log in into the Gnome desktop that was installed in the last video and then check out overall how the uh, desktop looks, how it behaves, what are the different application packages that have been additionally installed to realize the Gnome desktop installation. So now the greeter screen has changed and you can see it here the debian 11 appears at the bottom so this is the new login screen and at the top there is a panel you have got this accessibility features you can see the accessibility features instead of i think three now they have increased because this is a gnome desktop has been added and it has introduced more accessibility features you have got this network manager the volume controls are there the power controls uh, uh, are there and what is this yes this is the power control so here you can see in the session manager you have got system 11 default gnome desktop and accepts desktop so there are two gnome sessions gnome and gnome classic so two desktop sessions are available i think the wayland is not wayland is there i think this is wayland and this is classic let us see what happens or uh, it might be uh, xorg also so we will check that in the gnome settings so let me select the gnome session i will input the password and we will be logged in into the gnome desktop and we will try to increase the resolution if possible now you can see the doc uh, sorry the dash as a uh, like uh, the gnome desktop in uh, debian it has got uh, the libreoffice writer the file manager is there the gnome help is there and show applications is there so not many applications in standard uh, debian desktop there are more applications here on the dash now what we will do is first thing that we will do is we will open the settings this is the gnome settings i will try to increase the display resolution if possible you can see it here the display resolution is locked we cannot change the display resolution so we will have to continue in this resolution only so if we uh, click on the activities you can see only the three applications are there at the top uh, the panel there is activities then you have got this uh, day date uh, calendar function is there you have got this uh, notification area so 46 new updates are pending for installation we will not do the installation of updates right now the network manager is there the volume control is there you have got this power menu so that's it this is how it looks and the additional feature uh, of this gnome desktop is that you get the conkeys so it looks beautiful you have got a beautiful conkey here so this is the standard conky that that or the default conky that is available in the xfc desktop is now available here because the conky settings have not changed and the same conky is offered here in the gnome desktop as it was in the xfc desktop so now what we will do is let us uh, check out the different applications that are uh, available we will try to hunt for the gnome application so you can see some of the applications of the xfc also will be seen here it will be a mix some standard uh, mx applications are also there you can see it here the brightness bulk so all these are the standard xfc application change root rescue the clementine is there player cli apt is there clipboard conky manager is conky toggle is there so all these are applications from the standard mx uh, tools Dev installer is also MX tool, disk management is there, disk usage. So this is from the Gnome desktop, this disk, uh, disk usage analyzer. So you can see it here. Out, out of the 130 GB total, only, uh, only around 7 GB has been used. So you can see it, 123.6 GB is available. So this Gnome desktop installation is also very light. So we have got two desktops right now, XFC and Gino, base, minimal base installation. So both are very light. This is the document scanner from the, where it was, yes, from the Gnome desktop. You got feather pad that is from the XFC foliate. I think foliate, uh, maybe it was there in the MS Linux uh, 
standard packages format usb also there calculator uh, was there in the xfc desktop but it is now again here because anyway we have installed the gnome desktop so calculator will come any gmtp is there gnome app gparted uh, was already there ga smart was also there in the xfc desktop now let us check out the desktop so you can see very light this is one of the lightest gnome desktops i have seen just 647 mb of ram is used you can see it here the load average is also very low 100 tasks are running with 215 threads so it is very light desktop it is running uh, just 648 mb out of the 1.87 allo mb is allocated to it swap usage is zero so this is the lightest gnome desktop we have tested so far in on our channel now let us go further so there are lot of lot of applications here the jar loader is for the java applications lucky backup is there you can see it here live usb maker light dm uh, this is settings for the light dm display manager so that is xfc part midnight commander is there it is a lightweight tui based uh, file manager mx boot repair is there mx codex mx conky mx date and time mx fix G jpg everything all you you can think it is available here system locales file loader fail spook only one game i think it is there not many games are there vlc video at yes transmission is added transmission was not there so it it is a part of gnome desktop so it has been added thunderbird i think it was there system profiles all those things are there quick system uh, info it is already there it is a standard mx linux tool can see it here depo manager is there mx snapshot mx select sound mx samba mx updater all the different applications are there and media driver manager is installer or i think it is installer or driver manager okay so it is a installer only mx uh, nvidia driver installer you can see you get an added advantage of the all the mx tools along with the gnome desktop so if you are a level of uh, gnome desktop and mx linux then you can use this uh, installation method to install the gnome desktop so you will get a minimal uh, installation of gnome desktop base uh, minimal base gnome desktop and then you can add the different gnome applications so it will be again very easy you have to open the synaptic package manager select the gnome applications that you want to install and then you can do it so i will just show you time shift is also there everything is there now what i will do is i will open the synaptic package manager you have to input your pa password once this opens i will show you how to go and uh, install the other gnome desktop applications so you have to just search for the gnome Yes. Now click on here. You can see it here. Not many applications are given here, but uh, yes, that here you can see the different uh, standard GNOME desktop applications. So you can select the applications you want. For example, if you want the Aitana in indicator applications, Aitana messages, you can mark it for installation. If you want the power uh, notifications, you can install this indicator session. You can install this application indicators so whatever uh, you want suppose if you want the brasero cd dvd writer you can click here so it will install the brasero applications you can install the cdr kit if you want then you can install the burner kits you can install the cell writer the cheese is there cheese is a selfie taker selfie application so you can take your selfies using the laptop or the desktop camera EOG is there that is the eye of gnome uh, graphics viewer so different applications are there whatever you want you can choose so i will choose to install the evolution i want evolution uh, as well as the thunderbird which is standard so i can install the evolution 
I will just install the uh, evolution common and maybe we will install the spam assassin. That's it. Now file roller is already installed. So all these green applications, they come with the uh, minimal GNOME base. You can see it here. Any additional package you will have to select using the tick box. So this is the gedit. If you want gedit, you can do uh, install the gedit. It is the official text editor. You can install the GNOME calendar if you want. So that is there. GNOME backgrounds is already installed. You can install the GNOME Bluetooth. Right now the XFP Bluetooth manager will be working. So you may you may not install the GNOME Bluetooth. You can install the GNOME color manager if you want. I'm just trying to show you how to build up on the minimal uh, GNOME desktop base that has been installed. So you can make it more functional. So GNOME common uh, scripts you can install, but uh, they might uh, interfere with the MX Linux script. So better not to install it. If the GNOME desktop is working perfectly, don't install this because it will then uh, interfere with the MS Linux configurations. There are some uh, uh, this icons and themes are there so you can install those if you want. You can install the extra icons if you want. You can install the GNOME firmware that is the GTK front end for the firmware update. You can install this. You can install the genome uh, gmail uh, interfacing so it will help uh, to interface the G gmail with the genome so different different applications are there i am just trying to show you how to uh, build up on the genome uh, minimal base installation so you can have a full fledged working genome desktop and these are some sh uh, shell updates shell functionality updates you can install this so there are, these are the extensions for example the genome shell extension system monitor i will install you can select other extensions also pixel saver maybe not uh, well yes you can install this genome trash extension you can install the genome uh, weather extension you can in install the GNOME software that is the GNOME software store if you want. You can install the software plugin Flatpak. So it is already that though no need of installing because MS Linux has Flatpaks enabled, uh, not enabled, but you can do it in a very easily way. You have to open the software sources and then configure it. It's very easy. So that's it. I think uh, this is good enough to show you how to do it. And now after you are done, you have to apply. So here you can see the packages that will be installed. So these are the different packages that you have selected and we can apply those. So you can see 105 MB of extra space will be used and 23.5 MB will have to be downloaded. So that's good enough. So we have installed additional GNOME packages as required. So it will increase the functionality of the GNOME desktop and it make it near to the full GNOME desktop take it near to the full GNOME desktop. So the different desktops come with uh, different levels of packaging. For example, the minimal base will contain just minimal uh, packages to make the GNOME desktop working. Then you will have a standard GNOME desktop. You will have a full GNOME desktop. So different levels of packaging are there. In KDE also you get a standard KDE desktop, a full KDE desktop and a minimal KDE desktop. So you have to choose between this and most of the Linux distribution uh, developers choose between these three levels of desktops uh, to be included in their uh, flagships. So most of the flagships will come with minimum uh, at least standard uh, selection of the packages and some uh, some of the Arch based distributions will use the minimal because uh, Arch believes that the user should have full control what applications uh, are installed. And the popular Linux distributions will mostly go with the standard or the full implementation or the uh, 
desktop packaging for the uh, flagship desktops so this is the difference so we are done now i will close this now let us check out you can see it here the evolution has immediately appeared here automatically we are done nothing and now you can see this uh, gnome firm firmware has installed so this is the gnome firmware so you can install the firmware using this you can also refresh the metadata so it will take some time to refresh in background now let us check some more applications the task manager the gnome task manager is now there available you can see it here 913 so it has increased just a little bit from 648 mb to 913 mb but still it is very light so we added some functionality to the gnome desktop that has corresponding increase in the ram usage so the now the gnome desktop is using more ram because we have added functionality to the minimal based gnome desktop that was available after the installation from the mx package installer so this is how the things proceed this is how the things work if you add more functionality to your desktop the ram usage will going to get up but you have got a fully functional uh, gnome desktop available in mx linux so mx linux and gnome desktop fans both can rejoice so both can have a good handshake you can use gnome desktop in mx and the uh, MS users can use Gnome desktop. So both it is a win-win situation for both and it is very beautiful. I don't see any issue with this Gnome desktop. There are no hindrances. The configs are properly done. You can see it here. It is using the standard Debian configs I think because the looks of it is Debian. Now let us try to do one thing. Let us try to change the background. Let us see what backgrounds are available. So all the standard uh, Gnome desktop backgrounds are available here in the minimal gnome base that we have installed in MS Linux so you can see here the different wallpapers there's all the standard wallpapers from these are the standard wallpapers from the Debian bullseye edition so MS Linux is using 11.6 bullseye as a base so we will get the Gnome minimal base from the 11.6 version of Debian and so the wallpapers are correspondingly from the Gnome uh, sorry not Gnome Debian 11.6 only desktop you can see it here it, it looks very beautiful you can see looks very beautiful so everything is working properly there is no issue with the Gnome uh, desktop in MX Linux this one is also very nice looking so with this i think uh, we should conclude the video here let me check if something is missing just i will check a take a quick look yes everything is there uh, there is no issue anywhere in the desktop so with this i will uh, with this i will stop the video here we will conclude it so the gnome desktop as installed in the MX Linux 21.3 is very workable and there are no issues you can use the Gnome desktop if you want so it is an added choice for the users who are both fanboys of MX Linux as well as the Gnome desktop so see you in the next video bye bye